Welcome to this quick GoodNotes review for digital planners. GoodNotes is a very popular note-taking app. I'm gonna go through all the features that allow you to use this app for digital planning too. When you open your app, you will find all your notes and digital planners here in the documents area. If you click on this plus sign, you can import a document or create a new one from scratch. I have a video showing the different ways to import documents to GoodNotes. You can check it out if you need to learn. Also in this area, you can select items to export, duplicate, move or delete. On the settings tab, you have a lot of more options as well. Regarding notebook templates, you can choose from a variety of covers and paper templates. Then further down, we have this separate settings area where you can add backup information, check your stylus settings and handwriting recognition too. So let's start by opening a new document. At the top, you'll find the dashboard with all the tools you need. To use the hyperlink tabs on your digital planner, you need to make sure that you turn this setting on so that you can click on the links instead of using the pen tool. So let's start with the tools from left to right. When you click on a tool on the left, you find separate options for this tool on the right hand side of the dashboard. For instance, here on the pen tool, I can change the color and the nib size of the pen. If you click twice on any tool, you get an extra set of options. Beside the pen tool, you have the eraser and the highlighter tool. Then the shape tool helps you create shapes easily, such as circle, square and triangles. And here is the lasso tool, one of the most important tools. With the lasso tool, you can select text or graphics inside your planner, then edit, crop or move them around any page or any notebook. The image and the camera tools let you add graphics to your planner. And here's the typing tool. That's in case you prefer typing your notes than handwriting them. Here, you can also edit the text by increasing the font size or making the text italic or bold. And on the add page sign, you can add images, scan documents or import more pages to your notebook. Further, on the page tab, this is where you can see all the pages of your document. You can reorder them, delete or duplicate pages as you wish. And here is where you can search inside the document, tag pages that are important and export your files. One thing that I really love about GoodNotes is that you can see your recently opened documents here together, one beside each other. For me, it means that I can easily grab digital planning stickers from other documents. I can just simply switch the tabs to grab the sticker and then go back to my document and paste it. I have a whole series of GoodNotes tutorials for digital planners. Keep watching to learn more.